So today, we're playing the Pyromancer. Now we may have a fanciest, unkillable build today, which may involve a fancy fencing rapier, dark lantern, bunch of glowing crowns, as well as, as a good old phoenix, which allows us to scale up our damage, while being unkillable basically. Smashing here. So, we're basically just becoming super unkillable here. As we scale up our damage, we heal back up, get down vulnerability again, but hey, check this run out, and let me know what you think of this build. Okay, okay, let's go and jump some uh, rank games with the Pyramid and see just so I can do it today. Room on sale for two. I think we'll have to take it here. We're definitely going to be buying some flames here, and I don't exactly want to take a shell totem for right now. Even though it's on sale. I actually want to roll here looking for a torch. It's going to be super fantastic for us. And we could also take this whetstone as well for a little bit of added damage here. With that, let's go and take a garlic. I call it a day. Craft up a torch. We have a lot of DPS in this first round, however. Would have been nice to get a big old banana, but the garlic will have to do for her. that damage mitigation. It's also going to be really, really good. So we should be able to smash down this other pyromancer here. Overall, smashing here. We should get our torch right now. And I think I'm actually going to sell our broom. And we're going to take this wooden sword. Now instead of crafting a pure sword here, I think I actually am going to craft the shell totem. As of right now, we do have three gold left. I'm actually going to take this piggy bank, reserve this letter bag, take out a flame for now, and just continue on like this. And we'll see. We are going to begin a ranger. They're going to have a lot of damage as well. They could potentially get a big crate here. We also have the spikes here, which is going to be pretty bad for us, but we still manage to get ahead here. Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. Also, the piggy bank in this position gives us 6 max HP. Which is a little worse than having the two flames in, but now it is giving us that 8 HP, which is basically just like having two flames in. But it also gives us gold every round. And with that, that is a rainbow badge here, but I don't exactly want to take the rainbow badge right now. What I do want to take is this ladder bag. I'm tempted to take this custom card here, so I actually think I will. I will roll once here. We're gonna have to sell another flame here, which is not super ideal. But I do want to take this big old banana. And I want to slot it in in this position and have it set up like so. Now this whetstone isn't going to do anything for the shell totem. But it will add to our DPS for our burning torch here. The shell totem should be able to keep us alive as it stacks up in power. Basically scaling up our damage on a burning torch. So it should be really, really, really good for us right now. However, our opponent is stacking up a lot of blind on us. A lot of debuffs with... That's Skull Badge here, which is kind of crazy. Our accuracy is at 50%, which is not super great here, but smashing. We still managed to pull ahead here, keeping our lives going. Extremely awesome. Maneki Neku is kind of crazy. I don't think we are going to take it right now. We don't have any godly items. And actually, Capricillion's on sale for force. Too good not to take here. I'm going to move Rochelle Totem out completely because it doesn't actually need to be in our fire pits. Yeah, we're just gonna roll with this. Now, I would love to buy this extra flame, but unfortunately, we can't afford to take it. Now, the Capricillians should be able to keep us alive here for a little bit longer so we can scale up our power. It should stop us from being turbo leader, but honestly, this Reaper is doing a lot of damage to us with that shovel and that spear here. And unfortunately, end up losing this round. Which is not great, but it is what it is. So for this round, I do want to take this eye lamp here. So I'm going to be selling our whetstone here. I'm just going to take our eye lamp for right now. We could take this amulet, sell a flame to take it, or do we take this letter bag? I think we're going to sell the flame to take the amulet here. What's well, going to be the amulet life is straight up amazing for us. With that, let's go ahead and reserve our letter bag and move on. Yeah, the amulet life is straight up amazing here. Increasing our healing, giving us 20 more max HP. We have 122 max HP as it is. Over the other Pyromancer, who's making phenomenal use of the fire pit here, actually. Except for one and little shovel here. They're making much, much better use than we are. Although, we're not making too much bad use of it here, actually. Because this is a fire item, this is also a fire item. This piggy bank is basically two fire. And we're basically just one slot not used. So we're all smashing here. So we could end up going for flame up here. Should we? Actually, I don't think I will. 
for right now. I will buy this storage so we can add in our amulet life form disposition. Another man I can echo who really wants to buy this. It is on sale for five. But I still don't think we take that. I think what I am going to do is I'm going to move this out here. Buy this close here. Switch this over here. So we can increase the speed of our burn and torture. We can also take customer card here to try and get a unique item. And I actually think I will. Also protect some of our buffs here. Even though only our buffs is our heats and our power. So we'll see. Our opponent has a lot of stones. They're just going to be stacking up spikes. And they're going to be stacking up power here. Like crazy actually. So we could be in a lot of trouble here. And yeah, we are. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. Okay, so we actually have an option here. We could take Corrupted Crystal. Go for Dark Lantern here. I actually think I will. For right now. Now, I did say I want to craft a custom card here. But I do want this bag. Now, we go to Solar Piggy Bank here. Solar Flame. Take the custom card here. I think we rock on uh, like this for now. Now, we could actually take the dagger here as well, craft a mountain dagger. It would just add a lot to our DPS here, and we probably should have took a boots. I think this should be good enough. Reducing our opponent's healing as well as trying to nullify some of our buffs. With the capture it's going to be really, really, really good for us. Not so good for us this round, but in the future it will be massively good. However, our opponent is going to outpace us here because of that dragon's glamour. For sure. Unfortunate, it is what it is. We should get a lot stronger, and we're going to get. We're so class now. Like that, I said I did want to go for that Dark Lantern here. And actually, we got a Prismatic Orb here. Which I have to take, because it's going to be crazy good. Now, honestly, Shell Totem is going to be really, really bad, because this is going to give us a 50 HP. This is going to try to heal us back up. So we could end up selling this here. But for this round, we'll roll with it. And we'll see. We have two dark items, we should be inflicting at least some debuffs at the very beginning here. It's only two, it's not crazy or anything like that, but it allows us to stack up our buffs. We get one of every buff. And it should be going turbo nuts. Our shell totem, trying its best to keep us alive. As we scale up our damage here, our super slow scaling damage with a burning torch. Then we get our invulnerability. Basically just out surviving our opponent here completely. Straight amazing. Okay, so actually... I want to craft our vampiric gloves here, because that's going to give us vampirism. It's also going to increase the speed of our burning torch here. And I do want to take a second eye lamp here, which means I'm going to sell our piggy bank. And I'm going to sell two flames here. In order to take our customer card here, and I'm actually going to remove our garlic for now so we can craft this up. And with that, let's go ahead and continue on. The diamond life as well, giving us more max HP for our dark lantern. Should be crazy good. Now, our opponent is going to go turbo nuts. We have fancy defensive grape here and falcon blade here. So we could be in a lot of trouble. That's just a lot of damage for him. We do get that invulnerability. Our burning torch is scaling up. Can we outpace him here? Very close though. DPS wise, 21. 231 DPS. They had a lot of DPS, but we had so much survivability here. It's kind of crazy. So now we got our vampire gloves. It's going to increase the speed of our burning torch. It's going to give us vampirism. She'll be amazing. Is there anything else we want here? We could actually take a Jin's Lamp here for more scaling buffs. Actually, what I am going to take is the Falcon. Or the Fanny Pack for right now. Just increase the speed of our Burning Torch even further here. With that, I'm going to roll here. Phoenix is exactly what I want. Also, another Corrupted Crystal. It's amazing too. I'm going to sell the Garlic once to roll here. And yeah, I think that's all we can do for right now. But I'll be back in a second while I sort the inventory out. I think there is going to be a much better setup that we can do here. Okay, so our setup changed to be something like this. It's basically all around the Prismatic Orb here. Now, Dark Lantern isn't getting the most extreme value, but this will give us Vampirism. It'll also inflict two debuffs, and it will also increase our healing efficiency because of this Shell Totem here. And with that, let's go ahead and continue on. Now, we did preserve this Potion Bolts. We are going to be getting the Phoenix to make us even more unkillable here, to be honest. And basically, all we want to do is scale up our damage on our Burning Torch with two eye lamps here, as well as this effect here. And potentially scale up some power, but honestly, this Shell Totem is not going to be scaling up any power. And we actually might want to get rid of it here because, yeah, our stamina is not going to be too great for us here. But basically, unkillable as we stack up our buffs, flick those debuffs, and overall, straight up smashing here. So with that, let's get rid of our Shell Totem. 
Let's go another potion bolt. Also, we didn't actually have any triggers. Fire Dark Lantern here, which is not super fantastic. But we do need to fit in this Phoenix. Which we're gonna have to set right here. And we managed to move our setup to be something like this, so this should be a lot better because we have Dark Lantern here. Triggering three times here, which is not too bad overall. We have our Prismatic Garden here. Now we do lose that healing efficiency by selling our Shell Totem. But that should be okay. We should be able to continue on like this for right now. And we'll see. Because the Phoenix here is going to make us even more unkillable here. Now I would love some sort of chill here to be actually scaling up our heats. Because right now we have no way to scale up our heats. So once our Phoenix procs here. That's going to be it. But we actually didn't proc here because we're basically unkillable as it is. Now honestly at this point I actually want to be taking a mana orb here. And the reason why I want to be taking a mana orb is specifically for King's Crown here. I just want to be finding those King's Crowns because I'm going to be going to be getting even more invulnerability. So with that, I'm just going to move our Phoenix down a little bit so we can have to actually have another flame in our fire pit here to give us a little bit more max HP. Because the more max HP we have, the more healing we get back once we resurrect here. So we'll see our opponents after doing a lot of damage. We really Stacked up a lot of debuffs on us. But it's going to be close because we are basically unkillable. DPS check on a burning torch here. 20 DPS, not crazy or anything like that, but enough to keep us going for right now. Now we could make a pivot here. Get rid of our burning torch here. And go for the fancy fencing rapier. However, we don't have scaling luck, but I think we actually will take it. So it does mean we're going to be selling our torch. It means we're going to have to have a system set up like this. It means we're going to have to find a different room for our Good old Phoenix here. I also kind of want to take Wolfbringer because that could help us get that look here. So I'll hold on to it for now as we roll. Looking for some storage here. Chili is amazing. We have to take two. We can set our Phoenix up in here for now. Which is not too bad. Let's go ahead and take our Chili. Then instead, and let's go ahead and take a tiny little storage here so we can actually move this. Like so. Actually, we need this over here. Let's then our big old banana triggers that a little bit faster here. And with that, we should be a lot stronger now by taking a fancy fencing rapier. Love to find a flute here, or even a gin's lamp. That could help us stack up our luck here because our scaling damage on our fancy fencing rapier has to use a luck here. But overall, should be crazy strong. Even going up against that fire here. Amazing. And we did survive three lives left here. But I think we can actually take this even further here. Want to say further? I mean, taking a prismatic orb here for sure. It does mean we're going to have to fit a banana in at Alexo. Until we get this Wolvertinger. We can also stack up a hard container here, but you don't exactly want to. King's crown is going to be amazing. I'm going to be selling some flames here. Or we could sell our custom card here, but I actually don't want to sell our custom card here. I kind of want to keep it for right now. Now this prismatic orb really needs to be in here for sure. Which does mean our Island Lamp has to be in this position. For right now, let's switch this around here. That should be crazy good for us. And with that, let's go to move on. Now we have a lot of items I actually want to take here. But we should have the max value on the Dark Lantern. We should be scaling up even more buffs here. We should have a lot of buffs from the very beginning. But we are getting smashed here a little bit. We've got that invulnerability though. Our fancy fencing rapiers are scaling up quite a bit of damage. Our Phoenix has been procced. And overall, basically just unkillable here. Completely. Now we could take the Leaf Badge here for some crit chance, to be honest. It's also that luck generation for our Fancy Fancy Rapier. So we are definitely going to take it here. It's crazy. Crazy not to take it here. But I'm also going to switch this up here. So we can move our Phoenix out. So we can slot this in here, giving crit chance to both of them. Which should be straight up amazing. Let's go and in our Chili. King's Crown. Still want the Wolverine gear for scaling buffs too. Because honestly, if we're scaling up every buff here, and the only buff we really use is the Leaf Badger, we should be getting that look basically for our Fancy Fancy Graveyard. However, we are smashing right now. And it's going crazy. And yeah, just an awesome build here. So far, another Prismatic Orb here. So honestly, yeah, I'll be, I definitely will be taking this here. And we could take even more... Corrupted crystals here, but honestly, I don't exactly want to. 
I'm actually genuinely going to sell this one, I think. Instead of dealing that for damage. Only we could move this prismatic orb over here, but I think it's going to be best off here. Let's go ahead and sell this, because I do want to take this Glowing Crown. And actually, I'm just going to slot it in here for now. And I'm going to sell one more flame here to roll. And actually, we could take this Acorn Collar here to get even more crit chance, to be honest. But we'll see. Now, if we stack up enough of mana here, we get even more invulnerability with the Glowing Crown here. Smash in here. So, we're basically just becoming super unkillable here. As we scale up our damage, we heal back up. Get down vulnerability again. And overall, it's just crazy strong. Fancy Fence Grape here, 64 DPS. Even our opponent, stay on our buffs here, is straight up not going to do too much from here. And actually, Letter Bag is exactly what I wanted to take here. Because I do also want to take this. And we could take this singular Lucky Clover. I don't exactly want to, though. Let's go ahead and roll again. Anything here. I know having our flames here for the Dark Lantern it deals extra damage here. But it is only 5 damage for each flame. So if we actually have this here, our healing efficiency actually increases like crazy. By at least 2 of the Prismatic Arps here. Which is definitely worth it in my opinion. And I would have loved to find more Grown Crown, but it is what it is. But let's go ahead and add in our... Flames right now. Actually, do we even need Warping Gear? I actually don't think we did. Since we got the Leaf Badger, I actually don't want to take it. My Nike Neko now would be fantastic with Defensive Fencing Grape here. And all these Prismatic Orbs here. Straight amazing. Let's go ahead and continue the roll here. Gloves also to increase the attack speed here. Right here actually could be nice. We do lose more Flames though. It's not super ideal, but now we might actually need this Salmon here because we're also increasing the speed of a, with those Vampire Gloves here. I'm gonna sell one more flame here to roll again. Jin's lamp. We could actually take Jin's lamp here. However, it would just be scaling spikes instead of anything here. But we'll see. Actually, maybe it wouldn't be. Because we are gonna be using up our luck here with our fancy fencing rapier. So it actually would be generating up luck here. Which would be super insane for us. But overall, smashing damage here. Actually, crazy damage. Super, super smashing here. Now we could also take the Wolf Badger, Wolf the Leaf Badger, okay this is kind of crazy no? Two badges in one run? Hell yeah, so basically we're the Pyromancer and Berserker right now. I'm gonna slot it in here for now, then we could actually slot it down here. I'd love to have it in between everything else, but... Say right here, but we do lose the crit chance on our Phoenix and our Fancy Fencing Rapier. We could also take the cards here, I don't exactly want to take the cards. But we're gonna finish off with this Glowing Crown here. Now, so anyway, we can actually take the Glowing Crown here. So actually, I'm not entirely sure what happens if you sell your Platinum Custom card here. Do you lose your unique item? There's no way that actually works here, does it? Well, time to do some science here. We're going to sell it, we'll see. We still have our two unique items here. It says you two have one, so that's going to be awesome. It worked out really, really good for us. We do have our two unique items here. And then we get our value here for our Glowing Crown, which is straight amazing here. So honestly, with that, I'm just going to sell some flames here. I'm just going to sell some flames here, because I do want to take this Glowing Crown. And yeah, actually, Wolf Badge would be crazy good right here. Instead of the pair of gloves. Do we actually get rid of the gloves then? It is only for 4 seconds. Well, this is for the whole fight. So I think we actually just leave this the way where it was. We have a Glowing Crown right now. That will literally make some vulnerable from the very beginning, because that's going to be mana and healing efficiency, because this is a magic item as well. So if we did have this one in here, we would get more healing efficiency, but we'd also gain more mana. And okay, this is going to be our final setup for right now. We have our Dark Lantern here with our Fancy Fencing Rapier in our Fire Pits here. Honestly, our Fire Pits has gotten zero value except for two Eye Lamps here, which is not great. Which is not great, it is what it is. Now with the two Eye Lamps here, it means our Fancy Fencing Rapier should barely ever miss unless our opponent is sacking Crazy Man's Blight. Which means that this doesn't actually gain any luck for us. However, with the addition of the Leaf Badger, it is kind of slow. But it is super amazing to get it right now. And we should also have taken Jin's Lamp here. Because Jin's Lamp would be scaling that luck for us. Also, when these all proc, that's going to be 3 luck instantly for Fancy Fencing Rapier. Which should be straight amazing. We also got a crit chance for my icon color. And honestly, this is the most unkillable build 
<laughs> that we could make today with the two glowing crowns, all this mana, the invulnerability from Dark Lantern and from Phoenix here as well. And with that also, double badges is kind of crazy here. Berserker into leaf badge means we're going to get that battle rage. Now we could potentially get battle rage out at the very beginning here. Depends on if we get a little bit of a heal. But we should be at 50% HP. So let's go ahead and see. Can we win this final round here? We are going to begin Dark Lantern as well. Which is going to all in on a blind. Yeah, we did proc. Did we actually proc battle rage? No, we proc battle rage right now. We take a lot less damage. Our weapon attacks so much faster here. And so far, Pandemonium into Darksaber here. He's stacking up a lot of poison on us, a lot of blinds. It's going to be kind of crazy. Who's going to win? It's going to come down to where? And we actually got there. Just at the end there. Super amazing here. DPS-wise, 67 DPS. 47 DPS. So we just managed to barely squeeze out here in the end. Even going up again. Probably the most best Dark Lantern build there is. Most consistent one with Pandemonium. Into Dark Saber with the Phoenix basically being unkillable here, but we kind of leaned into being unkillable as we have a weapon that scales up damage with the fancy fencing rapier. However, having more luck generation here would have been way better, to be honest. Quick little DPS check here. The fancy fencing rapier actually ended up doing basically 30 DPS towards the end. Also, from healing here, Dark Lantern healed us up for quite a bit, 189 HP. Yeah, quick look at the healing as well. Dark Lantern, Vampirism doing the most for healing. Glowing Crown doing a little bit. And overall, a lot of healing. However, we didn't proc Phoenix actually. They proc Phoenix, so we actually had another layer of survivability here. We actually would have survived one more time here, which is straight up crazy. And one uh, last thing I do want to check here is the luck generation. And actually, the Phoenix generated up quite a bit of luck here because our opponent went all in blind here. Especially with that Dark Lantern resurrecting as well, those debuffs. So overall, Leaf Edge only generated up 6, so it's not that great actually. Now our opponent ended up losing a lot of their duos here because of the Sun Armor here. Which should have been amazing, but it is. What it is, we still managed to win out in the end, and uh, let's go ahead and see. We did destroy over 4 lives left here. Let's see how much rank points we got here. Plus 15, super, super amazing here. But anyways, gonna leave it here for now. Just wanna say thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. And I hope to keep a look out for the next one. See you next time.